everyone, welcome back. Today's video is another style challenge. Seven outfits on how to style oversized or baggy jeans. You can definitely wear them more oversized and much baggy than these ones. They definitely count as oversized for me because one, I'm short and petite, and two, they're pooling at the bottom. So you know that they are kind of definitely baggier. I mean, some would even say and challenge that someone of my height shouldn't be wearing these kind of jeans because they will make me look shorter but I don't care. I hope that it's helpful with this current trend that is everywhere, it's crazy. So, outfit number one, this is a very casual, comfortable look. I feel like I say that all the time, but that is definitely how I dress nowadays. So this is a, I guess you could say this is oversized, striped knit from Arquette, and these jeans are from Ray, which is Matches Fashion's own brand. And then I'm wearing my chunky Celine sandals. These two items are actually relatively new in my wardrobe, so I will confess that. But I like how kind of relaxed it is. I like wearing sandals with an outfit. I think it makes it just look a bit more, yeah, easy comfortable, chic. This is like my second pair of like straight baggy jeans. My first were from Zara, which I bought last year. And then I thought I'd buy these ones. I like how they're like baggy, but fitted, if that makes sense. I'm not drowning in them. They're not swamping me or anything. Next up is this preppy interpretation of a look. So this is a tweed checked short crop jacket, which I got from Urban Outfitters literally like over a decade ago. Then I'm wearing a ribbed tank, white tank jeans again, and then the chunky Celine sandals. So I thought it would be cool to pair a preppy, feminine, girly look on top, and then offset it with the bagginess and then the chunky sandals. Obviously I could wear it with heels as well to make it a bit smarter, a bit more formal, but again, I like that juxtaposition and that kind of that contradiction in playing with different aesthetics. So if you have anything girly or fitted or preppy, I think that would look really nice with an oversized fit on the bottom. And I think as a foundation, you can never go wrong with a white tee and jeans as your like staples, and then you can build and layer on of that to make the outfit more interesting. Next up is this outfit all around now, the basic white tank. I saw Netta Porte's latest video that white tanks are back with a vengeance, so fine by me. This is a pretty basic outfit, like look at this super basic white tank and then the baggy fit jeans. And then I'm wearing them with my white Amina Muadi Lupita heels. I am so into this outfit because it's a really basic one, it's very basic elements, but I think the pieces are unique and interesting enough to make it cool and different. So it's a rib tank with an interesting cutout. I'm wearing white mules with a cool flare. And then I just like these jeans. It makes me think of Amina Mwadi herself and how Rihanna would style an outfit, like baggy fit jeans and heels and then a, and a tank. It's really simple, but actually I think really sexy. So I really like this outfit. And then I'm gonna go all in on the 90s and pair it with a black leather blazer. I'm so into this look. I hardly wear this poor, Gap leather blazer. I have had this for decades. I had this when I was a teenager. Well, actually my mum never got rid of it, thank God. And it's come back into fashion. I'm kind of on the fence to wear it, on how to wear it, whether I should wear it, because it really is a bit too <laughs> Gen Z. It's like a bit too cool for me, but I really like this outfit. I think it's, again, really simple, very basic, but there's nothing wrong with that. I like that the leather is quite shiny. It looks like vinyl-esque almost. Like I think, again, it adds an interesting texture with the rib of the white tank and then the texture from the black blazer. I think a good place to look for inspiration if you are stuck on how to wear oversized or baggy jeans is to think 90s and think how they would style it in that way, which is why I've come up with this outfit, because to me, apart from the shoes, everything else is very 90s. Like I could pair it with trainers, be spot on. I just thought I'd amp it up with these heels. Next outfit, what's the formula here? A tight fitted top with puff sleeves. You know I love puff sleeves. So this is a really old top from Topshop. R.I.P. I have this in red and white and I think it's so cute and girly. I would say that the formula I seem to be creating is something girly on top to be offset by this tomboyish bottom situation. I've paired this outfit with my trusty Air Force Ones. I think red and white are a really nice combo. Obviously this blue denim goes with everything. If I wanted to make it a bit more appropriate for night, I could of course wear it with 
the white Amina Muadi Lupita pumps. I think that would look really, really nice as well. This to me seems very 90s and a current reinterpretation of what that looks like as well. I haven't worn this before. I think I would. I don't normally have my midriff out, but I could probably do that for a special occasion or something. I think any puff sleeve girly top will work. I will show you in the following outfits. I love a puff sleeve. I mean, this is basically an ode to nice top and jeans, I would say, this video. It's just that the jeans in this video are the trendy oversized baggy fit. As I said, puff sleeves and cute blouses work really well with these jeans and the style. This is an upgraded version of the red top, so I paired it with my white Amina Muadi Lupita mules and then this old girly blue blouse from Zara. It looks put together. I could wear this to work. Well, I don't know if I could actually because of the shoes, but I could wear this for dinner, for drinks. It looks like I've made an effort, but actually it's really easy. I've made the top do all the work for me and I'm really comfortable in these shoes and that pop of color goes with everything. And I think it's really nice for spring that that pop really accents an outfit really, really well. Another nice top and jeans combo. Think about all the colourful tops you have or tops that you wear for nights out or for dinner or for smarter, more formal occasions and then see if you can pair it with something casual. The idea of juxtaposition I think works really well to offset something that's super, super smart or formal and maybe seems a bit stuffy and then pairing it with something casual I think can neutralize the outfit and make it work really, really well in terms of like a balance. Next outfit, another puff sleeve top. Surprise, surprise. I've talked about this top before. I've worn it before. I adore this top so much. This is by the brand Maison Clio. They are a custom made, made to order, very sustainable, conscientious French brand. Everything is made in-house in France with dead stock materials, couture fabrics, and it is just stunning. So all the pieces I buy from there are made to measure. I give them my measurements and they're made specifically for me and that's incredible. Yeah, it's a really, really special brand. I highly recommend you guys check them out. Their online shops only open once a week and they're just very conscientious and responsible about what they produce out into the world. And so every piece I think is really, really special. So I love this top so much. It's really cute and puffy and girly and I adore it. Got my midriff back out because that's what the girls do nowadays and I'm offsetting it with my chunky Celine sandals. To me, this feels pretty 90s. It's like basic, it's simple, it's not too overthought and yeah, it's just, it's like casual but looks like I made an effort. I think I made an effort. But yeah, I mean, it's just a white top and jeans and some sandals. I probably wouldn't have my midriff out so much. I'd probably wear more high-waisted jeans or something more fitted maybe a black legging or something, but it still works. I'd, I would still wear this maybe on a particular occasion. Okay, so then the last outfit, of course I could not get away with showcasing a bodysuit or tight fitted black top. You could have a polo neck, you could have a v-neck bodysuit, whatever floats your boat. I've gone with this black crew neck bodysuit from Elix. If in doubt, go with something fitted, neutral, it could be gray, it could be black, it could be brown, it could be white, navy, whatever. And I think, of course, that would go with this outfit. I have paired it with my white Amina Mawadi shoes because I think it looks pretty gangster. I like it, I like the accents of like my gold jewelry with the black and then the pop of white. And then of course, I'm gonna pair it with my Gap leather blazer because it looks really cool. Back with the blazer, it works, right? So yes, I'm wearing it with white shoes, could wear it with my Air Force Ones, could wear it with some chunky sandals. I just think this is a really easy outfit and although I don't wear this blazer very much, I definitely would in this kind of format. Those are my seven looks inspired by baggy, oversized jeans. I hope that it gave you a bit of inspiration to experiment with them or mix something you don't know with something that you do, put it together, see what you get. Let me know what you think of the whole oversized baggy straight jeans trend. Are you over it? Do you miss your skinny jeans? Are you done with your skinny jeans? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for spending some time with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.